welcome back to the channel guys. You're jamming with Django. Uh, today I thought I would do a shop tour of my garage. This is where I work. This is like the studio, right? So it's where I work. Uh, I'm getting ready to head down to the data center uh, in two days and I'm gonna do a lot of filming down there. I'm gonna do a building tour of the data center. But for right now, I thought I'd just kind of show you where I work. Uh, my friends call this my lair. I don't know if you call it a lair. I don't know, drop down in the comments. Is it a lair? I don't know, I have a lot of uh, stuff in here, so um, I guess we'll just uh, do a video and show you everything I got. All right, we'll start off in the main corner here. This is my command center. So this is where my computer is and my computer desks are. I guess I'll start with the desks. I bought these desks in an auction in Albuquerque. These were lab tables and they had this metal mesh throughout them and I knocked the mesh out and I put these wood paneling in and it looks super nice. I wish I had a video of me doing that, but it was, I, I love these tables. You can't just buy these. They're like, you know, they were fabricated for this lab and they're super sick. And I got little shelves underneath and I store some stuff underneath there. I got my backup battery and my sub down there and a bunch of mining cables and stuff down over here. But I love the desk. But here is my PC. And this is the very first PC I built that wasn't a pre-built PC and I built this right, you know, my mining rig was the very first PC that I built all by myself. And this was just the first PC I built for personal use. But I love this in-win D-frame. I love PC cases, guys. I ha you'll see a bunch of PC cases in here that I have that I build, that I buy because I really like the case. Because uh, I'm afraid you won't be able to buy it forever, so I like to buy these limited edition cases. Um, but I can't ever get myself to not have this case because I just love this in-win D-frame. And actually the 1070 that I have in there, that's the very first 1070 that I bought to mine with. I bought that in 2018 and mined with it for several years and then I retired it and threw it in here. And it's still working great. Play games on it. Uh, runs all four of my monitors just fine. Never have any uh, issues. So awesome, I'm gonna keep running with it. But on this side of the table here, this is like my retro game station. I got some PS2s and a PS3. I like to play it on my little monitor. Uh, but sometimes I'll throw it up on the big TV. I throw some shows up there sometimes when I'm working. I work like right over here, so I look up at my TV, throw some Netflix on, throw some Star Trek on. Obviously, if the wallpaper didn't give it away, I'm a big uh, Trek fan. But here is car our cards waiting to be built into rigs. Some of these, this pile here is cards waiting to be cleaned in the supersonic cleaner. And I got a whole PC ready to be built out in one of these computers over here. Spoiler alert, is that pyramid right there. But um, got the supersonic cleaner set up on my workbench. This is where I do a lot of my uh, test builds. You know, I'll throw my miners, build them up, and I'll throw them up here and test them out. I can even run them there overnight. Um, but I got the, cl the cleaner set up right now. I'm gonna do a supersonic cleaner video shortly, and uh, I'll show you how I clean my cards. But there it is. And then there's this picture I built out of Legos. Uh, I built this, you know, like six years ago, but I just got all these Legos, ordered them online piece by piece, and I built this giant picture here. And then I also have another one right here. It's hidden, but this one's Superman. I need to move it out from behind the shelf. I put it up before the shelf was there, and I just did never move it. But there is a Superman right there out of Legos. You can kind of zoom in, but they're all these little plates that I built. I love building stuff like this, it's super fun, and Legos are badass, so. Um, all right, where are two next? Right here, this table. This is my mobile workbench, and I roll it around, I pretty much do everything on this table. I build rigs, build PCs, build guns. This is like, this table has seen some, seen some stuff, guys. I don't know, if the table could talk, then it would sell you. I work, I spend all my time at it. But right here, the back wall, got a shelf with uh, my, there's my sink and my desiccator cabinet, which I store all my stuff in. I bought that at an auction. I bought this table at an auction. Half the stuff in here is all bought at auction. Oven auction, tables auction, let's see, safe auction, this table auction. Uh, yeah, that table was an auction. The trust was uh, Facebook. The metal detector was free. Uh, I bought, there's probably a lot more auction stuff in the garage. Anyway, let's scoot over here. This is the gun building side of the desk here. I got a lot of camera gear right here, but I have a mill over in the other garage where I mill out like Glock lowers, 1911 lowers, AR-15 lowers, AK lowers. I build all my own guns. Um, I, it's just a hobby. I love, you know, 
guns. I love exercising my 2A right, but there's my gun wall there. Um, and on the shelf here, I just got a lot of ammo, gun storage, stuff like that. Gun cases when I got to the range. All my ammo. Um, I'm a big AK guy, I prefer the AK over the AR platform. Uh, so, you know, big fan of Brandon Herrera. Uh, makes great videos. But anyway, here is the middle table here. This is this pyramid PC that I built. Uh, I thought this was sick. I really like unique PC cases. And I'm probably gonna build out that stuff that I have right over there. In this case, I'm gonna throw this PC in the other garage that way. And then here's another PC case that I wanna build a hard pipe custom cooling loop in one day when I actually need another computer. But that case sits there. This is like my picture station where I take all my eBay photos when I list stuff online. Uh, none of these cards are for sale. So, I mean, they're just sitting here because I'm waiting to get them put in the rigs right now. But I have like all this stuff right here waiting to be sold. Uh, all this lab equipment, stuff like that. Um, yeah, I got a vacuum pump right there, right vacuum chamber. There's the pump for it. And I got a couple other pieces of equipment. Back here, I got my graveyard of Max and my cabinets where I store gun parts and mining equipment. There's my tool rack and my walk through to airport, metal detector, my safe, and then here we go. This is pretty cool. This is a vintage mechanical robotic arm from the 80s, and it's run with like these chains and gears, and it's actually designed to run on the Apple II, is what it came with, and it's super sick. I love this mechanical arm. I actually want to take it apart and paint it like to be all colorful and then put it back together, I think it would be sick. But I mean, it looks dope as just being raw metal too. And then here's this uh, desk toy I built out of hard drive, hard drive parts. These are just hard drive magnets. And then at the bottom, we just have a hard drive disc and it's connected to a motor down here. I really want to get a servo so I can uh, plug this into like a USB and just have it set to spin really slowly like this. So it'd just be like a cool little desk toy. Yeah, so there's that sculpture there. I got my cool, you know, 30 something USB slot, breakout board. I don't know, I should that. As I, I got a lot of just random stuff like that, so. Um, here's like my computer parts right here. So I got like fans up there, processors, and then I got like just three things of just hard drives. This is my laptop drive and SSD, my large drives, like enterprise drives, and I got like regular desktop hard drives. And these are my vintage drives for my vintage PCs in there. And then I got like stacks and boxes and boxes of RAM, you know, floppy drives, heat sinks, etc. All right, here is the second garage. There's my Coke fridge. I won that at an auction, by the way. Uh, spent a couple hundred bucks on that. Totally worth it. Um, here is my mezzanine right here that I built out of pallet racking. You see here? Got the uprights right here and then the beams go across right there and then I'd spot this metal floor grating uh, from a scrap yard up in Salt Lake and I just put it on top. And it's actually zip tied on right there, I can see it. Zip tied every couple beams all the way down. Um, but yeah, each one of these beams can hold 5,000 pounds. So you got 5,000, 5,000, so this whole section is 10,000 pounds, 10,000 pounds. So you could park your car up there if you wanted to. Uh, it's pretty sweet. I bought the pallet racking at an auction it was all nasty, so I spray painted it and it came out really nice. And then uh, the yellow beams up there, painted those. I like yellow. But anyway, ranting on. So next, I just have cord storage. Uh, yeah, don't look at that. That's not, not a pretty sight. I gotta get that organized. Uh, then I built this thing here, this ladder for me. To get. I built this out of pipe handles and wood. And it goes all the way up, and that's how I climb up. I was tired of getting my ladder every time. And that looks like really nice and elegant. There, there's my storage up top. I'll go up top in a minute and show you what I have up there. Then I got my really tall shelves right here and I built these out of metal skid steers. You welded them together and then I cut wood out and then I screwed it all together. Didn't feel like staining it. I built this whole thing and I'm like, I'm gonna stand and make it look nice, but I'm like, fuck it, too much work, put it together. So they've been like that for like two years now. But here's my vintage PC collection. Got a lot of Apples, IBMs, Micro Suns, Gateways, uh, HPs. Uh, I just like all types of vintage computers. I really want to build a sleeper PC out of one of these computers. I think it would be freaking sick. 
Um, maybe I'll be, that'll be a future video because I'll make my my PC in here, or PC at the data center, my uh, sleeper PC. Here's my Egyptian sarcophagus. I guess that kind of makes it look like I have a, a very lairish feel to it. But it's a bookcase, opens up, and I keep uh, spare parts in there. And then over here, this is where I want to keep all my eBay inventory, all my lab equipment. It's kind of uh, empty right now because I'm moving stuff around. In the middle of moving stuff upstairs, down here. I'm just got a lot of random tools, random parts on it right now. Um, another rack full of stuff that needs to be sold here. Um, there's my forklift, my pull behind forklift. I bought this from a guy in Grand Junction. I had to drive like seven hours to get there and I bought this and it's super nice because it's battery powered and it can lift like 3,000 pounds. And so I just lit, use it and I lift stuff up on top of my mezzanine up there. See, I got a pallet full of equipment right there. Um, I lift stuff there all the time up on top. But yeah, you can see like all my lab equipment here. I got a bunch of like Guzik hard drive uh, calibrators and you know all kind of blood work equipment and uh, blood analyzers. Anyway, here's the underside of my garage, guys, under the mezzanine. I wired up all these lights and then I got this little circuit breaker here from one of these auctions that came in a lot with this equipment, but I just wired it up so I can turn it on and off. So I flip it up and then I got lights. And then I even wired a uh, power strip right into it so I can have outlets right here. You see I'm even using some central cords going down to my workbenches. But garage is really messy. Uh, I just bought a shipment of these Onyx bikes in. I'm gonna do a video on that. Um, this is where, I, that's where all these boxes are. They've got 10 bikes here, so. I won't talk about that. You can see that in the other video if you want to see that if you're interested in it. But this is my part. This garage is really messy, guys. I need to completely reorganize it because I trip over everything in here. But this is where all my bike stuff is for my upgrades and chargers and helmets, stuff like that. I really like the Suron. I ride them all the time. I'll probably do a couple videos about that in the future. You can tell you're a tech lover when you use a PCs as a bike stand instead of the literal bike stand right in front of it. But anyway. Yeah, extra bikes. I do all these computers over here. So these are all just uh, extra computers that need to be gone through, servers and stuff. Uh, this is just like empty cabinet, so it just opens up and it's like, I was gonna build something, I was gonna repaint it and build some kind of cool gun cabinet or display case, I don't know. What, comment down below what you think I should build out of this, because this is pretty unique cabinet, but I bought it, I found it for sale for 50 bucks and I'm like, 50 bucks for a custom welded frame with also spare aluminum diamond plating. Yeah, I'll buy that for 50 bucks all day. Um, but yeah, sorry. Anyway, back here. This is where my gun table is. So this is my ghost gunner, and this is where I used to mill all my lowers for all my rifles and handguns. And then I use this shitty laptop, and I use this shitty desktop. And this desktop is my old desktop before I had that frame in the other room there. Yeah, look at this pre. Asus pile of shit. It's not that shitty, but it kind of is compared to my other one. But yeah, anyway, over here behind my giant massive rack here, it's just more gun parts, more fun tooling, stuff like that, where I used to mod my guns and paint them, stuff like that. Then this rack right here is just full of stuff I need to sell. Like I said, I need to go through all this stuff, uh, get it all on the shelves out there or up on top. The freaking cart needs to go down to uh, data center. That will be super useful down there. Yeah, more surround parts, bars, more servers. Uh, you know, old place, I don't look that, unless you want to. Yeah, but anyway, uh, yeah, there's nothing really back there. Just random shit. So, now we'll go upstairs and you can see what I have going on over here. Check out the mezzanine. So I usually hop up this ladder real quick pretty good at doing it one-handed. Usually have to carry shit up here because I'm too lazy to forklift it up. But yeah, let's zoom out here. Yeah, so I built these shelves up here. Let's go over here. So, this is just some of my eBay inventory. I got these nice uh, Costco, you know, racks here. Got uh, all this, here's, here's the view from up top here of the shelves up here. It's nice these shelves come up right here so it forms a little bit of a wall and I actually put stuff on top uh, as like a shelf so it works great, it's like a little portable workbench. But here's my racks up here. They're pretty empty right now. I gotta go through all that shit downstairs. See, so I got three rows of racks here. I got extra bikes, I got some camping gear. Um, oh yeah, you'll love this. Well, freaking 
more computer parts, just boxes and boxes of vintage computer parts. Uh, yeah, I gotta go through all that stuff too, but even up top there. There's a whole freaking box of old single car GPUs. Yeah, but anyway, so here on the other side I have my shipping table. Got my scale, my shipping, and my freaking uh, boxes here. So I do all the shipping up top, and that's why I like to keep the inventory up top, is because if I list it on that table down there, put it on this pallet, which is usually down there, and when it gets full, I lift up the stuff, I put it on the shelves here, and yeah, then when it gets sold, I box it up, and then it goes out. And I usually end up carrying it down that ladder one-handed, so, because I'm a little freak fruitcake, so. But yeah, and then here's the very good view of this mural I painted on my garage. Let there be light. Super sick. I thought it was dope. I painted it on there. Um, yeah, but that's pretty much it, guys. Got a giant crate here. You don't want to know what's inside of there. Or maybe you do. But anyway, you'll see what's in there. Maybe later, maybe not. I don't know. Maybe when I feel like blowing something up. But there is... Oh, that's the garage, guys. That's the... Uh, possibly a lair but it's just my garage and it didn't take me it took me a long time to get here you know this garage is like two years in the making have me working on it every day but yeah there it is so i'll see you guys in the next video i'm gonna do the data center uh tour next in a couple days i'll have my wireless mic and my sony camera so i will be able to have better audio and better video quality than just my phone and yeah, so I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe uh, if you want to, because I got a good bunch of cool fucking videos coming out. So you know you're going to want to see that. So all right. All right. Peace out.